What's up everybody, my name is Lee Hua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lee Hua Superfina. Today we are reviewing The Saints Magic Heart as OP episode 8. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the Superfina channel, we got channel membership and Patreon, links to those are below. We are reviewing the Saints Magic Pirate is OP episode 8, Awakening. And y'all, it was about Saints Magic. It was about saintly conjuring. There's, there's, there's actually a term for using Saints Magic. Saintly conjuring. And only a handful of people can actually use it. And who brought it up? Yuri, the Grand Mage. He's just... He's just planted that idea in Say's brain because Say was just talking about different types of magic and how to do advanced potion making and such and then Yuri just you know brings up this topic and he's like oh but don't think too much about it don't think too deeply but she ended up thinking too deeply about it <laughs> you know it's like I think Yuri did it on purpose he did it on purpose because he knows how curious she can be and how she like sort of delves into it more and uh, sort of makes it blossom into something phenomenal. I I think that's why you did it. He analyzed her personality. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> so say just wanted to find different herbs at first. Herbs that are used for poison poisonous herbs but just like medicine in our world in our time where if you use too much medicine it can be lethal but in like in small doses it can be used as medicine a good example is morphine morphine in small doses can help with pain and such but in like large doses it can get addictive it can be lethal to you so say was looking for that and then yuri was explaining well every thing has magic in it it's the magic we imbued into the plants and such that make it more effective so i think they wanted to find out if she could imbue plants with her mana so other people can make potions like her make that 1.5 times more effective potions i think that's what she was trying to do because later on when she's trying to figure out how to imbue plants with magic it was a challenge but then finally when she's thinking about everyone she loves and she wants to help them it just invoked a power in her you know that gold sparkly power and she was in the garden and it just exploded and all that mana all that magic went into the plants and it into the plants and then the next scene, they talk about how everybody who used those plants were able to make the same potions as her. So it's like, ah ha ha. So that's what Say was trying to do. That scene where we saw Say use the sparkly gold magic was sort of like a hint, sort of like a little sneak peek of what she could really do. A little like, okay, a little introduction to this, whatever this foreign unique new power that's unique to say all right all right he's a little sneak peek to that i thought that was a real awakening no 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 that was not the awakening the awakening happened when say went on the expedition the expedition that she really didn't want to go to earlier one that she was apprehensive about but she has resigned to the fact that she's probably the best person to go on these expeditions and they encounter all these monsters they encounter a swamp on miasma that just kept producing monsters it was like a horde and they were getting overrun with them at first both the grand mages and albert were just kicking butt grand mage is like fire lads pew 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 and then he did like a earth attack boom 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 and then albert with his sword swing swing imbued it with some ice power swing swing they're kicking butt but then because of that swamp of miasma the monsters just kept going and going and there's like this scene where they were showing all the rundown 
weapons and the empty bottles so it shows how much effort they've been putting and then you saw the, the grand mages and albert you saw how tired they were getting they were getting exhausted and then the soldiers in that party in that night order they're getting really exhausted they're getting desperate they're like we can't do it we're tired we we can only fight so much and commander albert he's the only one who can fight this salamander so it's like yo you guys are like at your end then the scene the scene that makes say desperate albert gets hurt remember that scene where we saw the sparkly the golden sparkles in the garden that happened after she was thinking about how she wants to help her loved ones well albert is someone she really cares about she really cares about him and he got hurt it looks like he's about to die she really wants to help and then she just screams stop and an explosion of magic golden sparkles and a huge aoe Magic circle! All the miasma cleared. Everybody healed. That was a true awakening. Yuri did a really good job planting that idea of saintly conjuring in her head because the way he explained it was he made it sound like it wasn't a saint thing. He made it sound like it was a very special type of magic because he said both him and Johan explained that only a handful of casters could perform a saintly conjuring. They, they didn't even mention that it was a saint thing. We all knew it was the same thing. We all knew Yuri talks about saintly country and Johan further explains that it's only used on monsters, miasma. And you know, the saint is summoned to help with the miasma stuff, right? And saintly country is specifically for miasma and monsters. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, say we're going to talk about this type of magic to you that only works with miasma monsters I'm not really saying that it's a saint thing because <laughs> we all know how you feel about the saint stuff <laughs> they like talked about stuff but didn't want to trigger her and such I, that's what it seemed like to me you can let me know what you guys thought in the comments it's like an unspoken thing we all know but we're not going to talk about it because you don't want to talk about us so we're not going to talk about it <laughs> But besides that, Say is able to perform the saintly country. She's able to do that massive magic performance that cleared out miasma and healed people. She cleared out the miasma. Saints are meant to clear out the miasma. She is clearly the saint after this performance. My question is, what's going to happen now? Is the king going to push her being a saint? Is the kingdom going to push her being the saint? Are they going to try to manipulate her? Is she going to be part of a power struggle? struggle? Because they did showcase Prince Kyle in the last episode and explain his situation. And they introduced his brother, who was his, who is his competition to the throne. Are they going to show that whole drama complicated thing? And the way they show the brother, by the way, it seemed like he doesn't care about being the next king, about having the throne. He looked very carefree in that episode compared to Kyle, who's like all oh, serious. He's like, I'm the next king. I have to be strict. I have to be serious. The brother, he totally had a different vibe. <laughs> if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments. And once Tate is confirmed as the saint, even if there's not going to be any power struggle going on in the kingdom, she still has to tour the kingdom. She has to tour the area, the land. Maybe she's going to tour to different kingdoms to clear out Miasma because that's what the saint was meant to do. And apparently she's the only one who has the ability. Are we going to see that in the next episode? We don't know because after the post credits, we didn't get a see we didn't get a sneak peek of what the next episode is going to be about and that's my review of the saints magic powers op episode 8 awakening what did you think about that episode what did you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube we got a discord discord link is available in the description 
I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos, if you like to stop by the stream, talk about the anime, the episodes, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation, you guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel. Reviewing the Saints Magic part is OP episode 8. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.